keys, but my trunk stay ever ready. Assault and battery, if you scared, you never ready. Okay, today's video is gonna be uh, a Q&A, and uh, Stevie Breach has a tendency to, to kind of steal all my stuff most of the time when it comes to Q&A videos, so I thought I'd return the favor this time. Uh, have his Facebook open right here. Shout out to Stevie Breach for uh, making this video possible. Uh, he posts uh, Tuesday at 10.27 p.m. I'm looking to make a Q&A video with about 10 questions or so. Uh, I want the questions to be about WrestleMania. Please ask questions that will help you uh, on your trip or stories about the past and uh, yada, yada, yada. So, 33 comments. Let's see what, uh, let's see what people have to ask. Uh, first question will be, uh, what time are you signing at Access this year? Well, uh, the Click usually doesn't sign at Access. We have our own little booth at WrestleCon, so be feel free to come over. We, uh, we charge about five bucks. Uh, per letter, so uh, you're looking at about 20 bucks for me, and uh, so on and so forth. The next question is going to be uh, from Cameron. She, is it she or he? Um, what is your favorite WrestleMania moment that you attended live and why? Um, my favorite WrestleMania moment that I attended live. Well, when you say moment, obviously it's not a match. Uh, but moment live, uh, WrestleMania 28, and it was Triple H... And it was Undertaker, and it was Shawn Michaels. And the cell. It was the entrance of the cell. It was coming down. Uh, Metallica playing in the back. When that stupid cell came down, it was the most incredible thing I'd ever seen. Incredible moment I've ever seen. Uh, just like, just so symbolic. It was like the end of an era. The, the match, we were 8th row. That's like even more. But uh, the entrance for, for the Hell in a Cell. Uh, was just like out of this world even watching it back it's like man and the thing with that match is half the half the, the match was like the void like what they were saying inside the ring you know sitting ringside eighth row we couldn't really hear them but watching it back on dvd those guys were like there was just so much talking going on that it added to the story and it just made the match so much more better but when you want to pick out one moment uh from any wrestlemania trip uh that's the one that comes to mind for me uh, pretty easy. And then second, very close second, would be the Rock and Cena uh, stare just before their match. It was like one, 365 days ago, like uh, pretty much one year ago, was when they announced the match. And it's like we waited that whole time just for that moment where, where those two would just like lock up. And man, so good. So good. Uh, let's see. People aren't really asking questions that you ask, Steve. Your, your people don't listen to you. What do you prefer, Access or WrestleCon? That's a good one. I prefer WrestleCon uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, Access is always really packed, especially when you go on like Thursday or sorry Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You're looking at like a lot of people. The wait times are like an hour, sometimes even more. And WWE has a very, very big tendency to put out guys who no one cares about. Eric Rowan, Sin Cara, and uh, there's one other guy. Eric Rowan, Sin Cara, and the, and the Los Matadores. They were signing literally at every single session, and I did not want to see any of them. I ended up meeting the Vintner, but that was it. Just because I could say I met Eric Rowan. But when it came to, like... And I met Sin Cara also. So, but like, ugh. So, yeah, I don't know. I prefer WrestleCon, although you have to pay. It's just like going to, like, Comic-Con just for wrestling fans. There's people dressed up. There's, like, you literally walk through like the aisles the, the the rows and there's guys just like Dudley boys here Val Venus over there uh Hurricane Helms over there you got Terry Funk Hacksaw Jim Duggan Shane Douglas literally guys everywhere and it's like your money just here take my money everybody just starts them throwing 20s literally to, to every single guy you go there with like the mindset of spending 20 bucks and you'll walk out of there spending 200 bucks happened to me happened to Steve happened to Jim we all walked out of there be like bro <laughs> spent way more than I wanted to, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it, because it was, it was just a great time. Uh, what did he ask? What's better, travel packages or buying everything separate? Now, everyone asked me this question. Uh, for me, I've done it both ways, <laughs> and I prefer either or. It's like the headache of buying everything separate is just bad, especially this past year. It, it just seems like it gets worse every single year, but this past WrestleMania 31 was just like, you get so stressed out about having to buy tickets for, for Mania, especially Raw. Raw and Hall of Fame are the two just like, ugh, man, just thinking about it. You gotta be up at 10, you gotta keep refreshing the page, and you gotta think of it this way. There's 80,000 people going to WrestleMania, and 
more than half, well, more than half aren't going to be able to go to Raw or Hall of Fame. Does that make sense? Like 80,000 people here, but they can only fit 20,000 at Raw, 20,000 at Hall of Fame. So you're looking at a big chunk of those people not being able to go. And I know there's a small chunk who don't want to go, but for the majority of it, people want to attend that event. Uh, Mania, this past one, maybe not so much because there was like 60% of that building was full. But other times it's like everyone wants, it's like the hottest ticket you can get. When it comes to that, package is the best thing to do because you just literally buy everything up front, but you don't know where you're going to sit. And that's the thing that gets me because I want to know where I'm sitting. Uh, there's like preference, you know, I don't want to sit like this and have them turn my head. You know, I got a bad neck, I'm like Kurt Angle. Um, but when it comes to stress level, it's like just buy the package and get it over with. But if you're really picky on where you want to sit and just like have everything perfect to your liking, then you do everything separate. But for me, you know, I'm not too picky when it comes to that stuff, but I do like to know where I'm sitting when it comes to like the biggest trip of the year. So take that for what you will. This one is from my good buddy, Ivan, the one who sent me my uh, ROH belt. He asked, what is the most embarrassing thing that happened to a click member during any of your WrestleMania trips? I think this one has to go towards Steve where, uh, you know, it was real. <laughs> Just pick which WrestleMania you want to talk about. He doesn't shower much. No shower. Steve was born, I think, during Mania 27. I think no one called him out on it until Mania 28, where I'm like, Steve, when was the last time you took a shower? And it was like Saturday, Sunday morning or Saturday. And he's like, I took a shower Friday. I'm like, dude, it's like, no, do you say Thursday or Friday? He said Thursday, Thursday night. And then I'm like, dude, it's Sunday right now. And he's like, it is? And I was like, oh, no, like no shower. Steve was born. And the next year, he uh, he literally wanted me to film him showering just so he can say that he did. But, you know, whatever he did in there, it probably wasn't taking a shower. But um, I have that clip. You know, maybe I'll just play it right now. How many times? How many times have you showered? I showered one time. This is proof, here. right? So you've been here since Wednesday. I'm going to turn the Thursday. water on. He's come in in a minute. Come I'll on. be here. You said once, right? Yeah. This is the first time or second time? This is the second time. This is the second time. Second time. <laughs> so you're here. <laughs> this is not going well. I asked for this. You, <laughs> you got here Thursday. We're on Saturday right now. So you said. No, no, no. You're putting the dates up again. You're You said, hold on. You said he showered. He said he showered twice since Thursday. We're on Saturday right now. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It wait, is. You're already going to your viewers. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm mixed up on the day, so I can't answer right. But I... Look at this. And we're. It's Sunday, 2 a.m. He's when he's and he's and he showered and he showered twice. Yeah. Sunday. I woke up. Sunday. So I woke up this morning and I got in the shower. Four days. Every four One days. shower. <laughs> Steve, what are you doing? Okay, just see. <laughs> I just kind of Stevie preached right now. <laughs> and then this past year, no shower Steve. It was uh, it was one of those things. He just, he was so amped up. There was no time. There was just no time to take a shower. So, and and people will, will always remember him as no shower Steve. It's like his gimmick now. It's like, dude, if you take a shower, you're like, you're technically ruining the gimmick. So you just got to. Just, just don't shut. Just don't scrub yourself. Just take it and go. That's about all the the questions I'm gonna take there. Steve, you didn't have too many, uh, too many questions, too many comments. Most half these questions are like, are just like, hey, what's the best pizza? Well, yeah, yeah, I gotta tell you about that. I can tell you all about pizza if you want. But I have my Q and A also coming up soon. Uh, so I didn't forget about you guys. But I thought I'd steal Steve's video before he steals mine. So see you guys in the next video.